about to head out for a trip down south, uh, going to look for the saguaro cactus that are down there. I mean, there's nothing more iconic in Arizona than the saguaro cactus. And I'm hoping to get some footage and maybe uh, get my drone up in the air and get some uh, nice shots, I hope. <laughs> we're about to head out towards uh, Wikiup and we're gonna see what we get to see today. Hopefully there'll be a lot of cool stuff and maybe we'll see some wildlife too. So I'm here at Burrow Creek and <laughs> it's the first day of February and it is a gorgeous, sunny, warm day. Welcome to Arizona. You can see the campground behind me and there's a bunch of little uh, coots and pied-billed grebes in the water below. it to Burrow Creek Crossing Road and I'm about to go look for Six Mile Crossing. We've got fantastic uh, desert landscapes out here. Uh, I always find these uh, areas around Wikiup to be really pretty. Just all the colors in the rocks are amazing and this is a great rock hounding area too. I love all the red and green that you get uh, from the rocks and the vegetation. A lot of complementary colors that really make this area pop from an artistic viewpoint. I think I'll drive around this. Running over cactus doesn't seem like a good idea. There it is! Behind me is iconic Arizona, the saguaro cactus. The saguaro cactus is actually Arizona's state flower. You can also see there are some holes in that saguaro. There may be some nesting birds up there. Some of the birds that sometimes use a saguaro cactus as a nesting place would include the uh, Gila woodpecker. I've seen cactus wrens uh, sleeping inside those holes. Caught a late sleeper one morning with his tail sticking right outside the cactus hole. Sometimes you even get pygmy owls. I, I've never seen one, but they're known to nest in those uh, holes in the saguaro cactus. A scraggly branched <laughs> plant there. It looks like it has no leaves and looks like dead wood. That's an acatillo. In the spring, it'll have new growth. There'll be red uh, flowers on the tips.
something you may notice is there are two different habitats meeting here. Notice the saguaro cactus, which are very uh, symbolic of the Sonoran Desert. And then notice the dark green bushes all around. That's pinyon pine and juniper habitat. And something you see in these mountains here is where sometimes the Sonoran Desert and pinyon juniper habitat meet up. And to make it even more interesting, I've seen patches where you've got Sonoran Desert, pinyon juniper, and Joshua trees. Time for a little break. Having lunch. Have yogurt. Even have a spoon. I am not entirely uncivilized out here.